we've been honoring our graduated students, our seniors here during a morning worship service for a few moments in a style very, very similar to this. And we do that because this is an important milestone in their life because from this point forward they are viewed by society and even by the law as adults and probably in the eyes of God in so many ways as well. So it's, it's, it's a very important time and we want them to be reminded of it. We want you and us to be reminded of it. Plus we want to give honor to their families. We've just done such a good job raising these guys. And, and it's amazing because um, through the years, you know, student ministry cycles, that is, uh, uh, sometimes we'll have a stage full of kids up here graduating because that's just the way it all fell out. Other times there'll be one or two or three. You know, this time there's two of them up here. And every one of them are special, whether it's a stage full or just one or two, because they've been a part of this church family. You see all the ministries they're involved in, and they're before the church, and they're leading in worship, and they're in, involved in vacation Bible school ministries and Sunday school ministries, and on and on and on it goes. You've heard. And of course, they have dreams and hopes for the future. And these two, for example, have already made some very definitive plans and have sought scholarships and have gained enrollments and are moving towards their goals. And those of us that are older, we know that sometimes those goals will go in a straight line. Other times they take left turns and right turns, but all along the way, our encouragement to them is for them to keep their eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. To stay in His Word so that they will know the truth and the truth will set them free. Amen? Now, it is especially a bittersweet occasion for our church family when we do this. And it is sweet because of everything I just said. And it's bitter because we don't want to let them go. I can remember when Parker was three years old sitting in my lap and I was just kidding with him, of course, but I looked at him and I said, now buddy, I said, I like you at this age. I don't want you to ever get any bigger than this. He looked up at me dead serious and said, Papa, I'll never grow up any more than this. <laughs> you lied. <laughs> It's bitter because of that. I held both of these boys when they were born. One of them has my DNA. Can you tell? <laughs> I mean, don't we look alike? 